Yeah, so it's my absolute pleasure to uh, discuss our abstract on behalf of uh, Dr. Murida Krishnan and the Briskin Center for Multiple Myeloma Research um, on our poster for uh, daratumumab as a consolidation and maintenance therapy in uh, after autologous stem cell transplant. So this is a single arm uh, multi-institutional phase two study evaluating patients who received daratumumab as consolidation and maintenance post autologous stem cell transplant. We included patients who were ages 18 to 70 years old who um, received uh, at least two uh, cycles of induction therapy and were candidates for high dose melphalan. Um, and we excluded patients who had previously uh, been uh, uh, relapsed after daratumumab therapy or, or who had a previous transplant. Um, and so uh, our primary endpoints were a one-year progression-free survival, and our secondary endpoints were safety, uh, two-year progression-free survival and overall survival, uh, and response rates. Um, and out of, uh, we also collected samples uh, throughout the course of dara treatment for additional studies including a mass cytometry and single cell RNA uh, sequencing studies. And uh, out of 31 patients who were enrolled in the study, 30 were evaluable for this abstract. Um, and the median age was uh, 60 years old, and the um, most patients out of 23 for which we had ISS uh, staging, um, 13 had uh, stage two to three, and of the 23 patients for which we had cytogenetics, uh, 12 had high-risk cytogenetics. And in terms of prior induction therapies, uh, most patients had lenalidomide, bortezomib, dexamethasone, or lenalidomide, cartofilzomib, dexamethasone, or some sort of combination. Um, but five patients did have prior daratumumab-based induction. At a median uh, follow-up of 22 months, the one-year progression-free survival of the entire cohort was 85%, and the two-year was 74%. Out of the high-risk patients, um, the one one-year progression-free survival was 80% compared to 91% of the standard risk patients. The safety uh, profile uh, was uh, uh, very tolerable. Um, no, there were no grade four or higher uh, safety events. Um, there were no deaths, so 100% overall survival rate at the end of the two years. Um, we also had 10 patients who uh, had dose delays mostly because of infections, but all of the patients recovered. Five patients who had COVID during this time also all recovered. We also looked at um, CYTOF analysis of these patients and we found unique changes within their immune subtypes. We looked at 74 different uh, immune cell subtypes. And interestingly, um, we saw that patients had um, increased uh, uh, monocytes uh, as well as uh, uh, increased uh, NK T cell uh, activity throughout DARA treatment. Um, overall, NK cell uh, uh, levels had decreased throughout DARA treatment. Um, and at relapse, we saw that uh, cytotoxic uh, CD8 uh, T cells uh, had increased at the time of relapse in four patients uh, for which we had uh, analysis. Um, we also saw increased uh, exhaustion markers, including uh, TIM3. Uh, um, PD-1 and PDL one in patients who uh, at the time of relapse. In conclusion, daratumumab consolidation and maintenance post-transplant is a promising agent with a um, great PFS and is a possible uh, alternative to lenalidomide-based uh, maintenance post-transplant.